Hello and welcome to this 101 lab. In this lab we will talk about firewall detection. A firewall is usually the first line of defense for any system. A well set up firewall can easily hinder your penetration testing efforts, flat out preventing you from doing anything if strict rules are in place. In this lab we will cover the most common methods of firewall detection, but be aware that these rely heavily on the penetration tester's experience, which you are only just building. This is mainly because defensive tech is updated so quickly to stay ahead of the malicious actors that there cannot be a single surefire way to identify it. You, as a malicious actor of sorts, need to come up with new and unique ways to defeat the ever-advancing defensive measures. For this particular lab, we'll be using Kali Linux and Manasploitable in a virtual machine. The first method of identifying whether a firewall is in place is packet crafting. There are two tools you can use for this purpose. Of course, there are more, but we suggest using one of these two. My personal preference in this case goes to HPing3, as Nmap is primarily a port scanner, so it will always do port scanning, even when we do not want it to. HPing, on the other hand, is a packet crafting tool, so this is really what it was designed to do. It is up to the penetration tester to craft various types of TCP, UDP, ICMP and other packets and infer whether a firewall is in place from the response packet characteristics such as flags. To run HPing3 against our Metasploitable instance, first we need to determine Metasploitable's IP address. Log into Metasploitable using MSF Admin as both username and password and then type ifconfig. Now once we've identified the IP address, let's type this command into our Kali Linux. Press enter and let it run for a couple of seconds. So this is enough to demonstrate what we want. Now you will have to substitute the IP address with the IP address of your own Metasploitable VM. In my case it is 192.168.77.132, which is consistent with our previous labs, but in your case it might be something different. As you can see there is quite a bit of information, much more than what a simple ping command would yield. And as stated, you need to use your own knowledge, experience and wit to come up with various packets that can help you infer whether a firewall is in place or not. In general, a firewall will alter the packets in some way, at the very least leading to a longer return time of each packet as there is an additional device between you and the target. So just for reference I'm going to run a simple ping command and show you how different it is from the hping command. Note that ping is used with no switches with no options or additional arguments, and hping is only used with the dash r, which alters this section here, the id section. So even without any switches, hping3 gives much more information on each packet than ping does. And hping3's help menu is also quite large. So you can see that the options are nearly limitless. Another method for firewall detection is performing traceroute analysis. This can be done either by using the traceroute command, nmap or hping3. To use traceroute we simply use the following. Let's clear the screen to make it more easy to read. And then you see traceroute output. Now because Metasploitable is only one hop away, we talked about this in one of our previous labs, there's only going to be number one and then the target. If when attacking other targets in a local network, it might be one or a relatively small number because you are a part of the network. There is not a lot of communication between you and the targets, or there are not a lot of hops, rather. But when you're doing an external penetration test, then it's going to be quite a lot of hops, more than 10, probably. Now, traceroute is a very simple command, and the output is also very simple. But we can use nmap to the same end. So let's copy and paste this command nmap dash dash trace route dash dash version dash trace and the IP address of our target. Now as previously stated you see that nmap scans ports even though we're not interested in that information at the moment so that's why generally specialized tools are better whenever we can use them. A simple comprehensive hping3 command would be something like this. Let's copy paste this one and press enter. Now you see that the output is different. We're going to run the old hping3 command just to show you the difference. There we go. So from this new command, which is here, we get a lot more information on each packet. It is very technical, but with time you will be able to identify whether a firewall exists between you and the target or no. 
Finally, another HPing3 switch that can help you in firewall detection is this one. You see that this output is different from the basic one and also from the one we just ran previously, which is here. It is always a good idea to familiarize yourself with the tools you intend to use by reading their help menus as well as man pages. Eventually you will not have to do so, but will have developed your own methodology and muscle memory of sorts with which you will know what most switches do. And that brings us to the end of this lab.